fishing oysters has been a way of life here for islanders for hundreds of years. My name is Clifford Bernard. I'm from Tignish PEI. We're in what's called Lower Bedeck, and I've been here now 17 years. This river here is one of the most resourceful rivers on the island for oysters. It's a wonder where all the oysters come from. It's almost a miracle ground. Most, uh, most oyster fishermen get up around between 4 and 4.30 in the morning. They go and they, and they launch their dories and they go out at daybreak. It's illegal to fish before daybreak. Fishing oysters with oyster tongues go back, oh, maybe 200 years. And over the years, we've been fishing oysters with the same method. We found it's the best way for the oysters to survive. We fish off at the bottom, we work the bottom with the tongs and prepare the soil for the next crop of oysters. Only four inch oysters are allowed, any below that remains there for next year's crop. When I first started fishing here, 10 foot oyster tongs was the max. Now they're fishing with 11 and 12 foot tongs, so that means the water level has risen here about a foot in 15 years. We have global warming the environment will change. What we need is a lot of research to be done to help the oyster with these changing conditions. They could be very, very detrimental and maybe wipe out the oyster industry. If it's not looked after, it would like everything else. If you don't look after it today, it won't be there, right? Eh?